rent all the, you know, think about Goldman Sachs. You have to understand their business model is very simple. They want to seek, a, they, they seek a situation where they are collecting rent on the globe's population. That's their business model. There's six billion or six and a half billion people around the world. They want rent on every single one of those people. Every, they want every single time someone goes and they make a borrowing out a credit card or they engage in a stock transaction or they take out a mortgage or they're shopping for something, Goldman Sachs wants a cut of every single transaction of every single person in the world. That's their model. Now, on one hand, you can say, well, they're free to try to do that because it's, you know, we, 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 you know, we, we in, in, in the business and capitalism, you know, you don't want to restrict people's, what uh, Keynes called the, the animal instincts. But the other, the other side of the coin is that you, you have to have some competition. In other words, if, if you have a pariah, if you, if you have a, 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 I should say a piranha in, in, the, in the tank of capitalism and you have no competition whatsoever, that, that piranha, that parasite, that, that sadistic thief will take it all. So what Obama should be doing is he should be creating competition for Goldman Sachs, not removing competition. But, you know, Goldman Sachs, the story is this, um, you know, a little insider Wall Street uh, story here, Gary. You know, uh, Hank Paulson hated Dick Fold over at Lehman Brothers. They just had a, you know, macho feud on Wall Street. I worked on Wall Street for many years, and it's, the egos are enormous, and Hank Paulson was at Goldman Sachs, and Dick Fold was at Lehman Brothers, and they, they hated each other. When Paulson became head of the Treasury, he used that opportunity to close Lehman Brothers as part of a personal feud with Dick Fold. It had nothing to do with the, the saving the economy or uh, every excuse that he gave Congress. They, why, why would he bankrupt the Lehman Brothers? Well, now there's no competition for Goldman Sachs. Why is Bear Stearns out of business? Well, there's, no, there's less competition for Goldman Sachs. So now you can see right in their profits right now. They, they, there's a full-page story in the Financial Times today talking about how the spreads on bond transactions have, have never been wider because there's no competition. And when the, when the spreads are wide, that means that the ability to make money buying and selling simultaneously is huge. And that brings us right back to this high-frequency trading scandal. They're on the floor. There's nobody competing with them. They're taking money from the buys and the sells. They're pocketing it. They're using leverage money that they don't have to pay for. If they make a mistake, the government bails them out. But what do we do? That's not a business. That's a parasite. That's, that's a disease. And so what your, your description of it is, 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 is quaint, to be, to be blunt, because it doesn't really address the true insidious nature of the beast. I hope not, you know. No, you've made your point. I thank you. My final comment, uh, if you would, on this 